Welcome to Media 317. This is our first video tutorial uh, on Studio Press and Studio Press uh, child themes. Um, today, what we want to do is start with uh, the very basic. Uh, we want to just download the uh, Genesis in a child theme and get that installed and activated on a active WordPress install. So. Um, I think it's important to make sure everyone is aware that Genesis, uh, the Studio Press framework, is a combination of a parent theme and a child theme. The parent theme is the Genesis framework, and then upon which you place a child theme. And Studio Pro, Studio Press has a lot of the child themes. You can, you know, if you purchase these, you have access to all of the themes that are built into um, Studio Press. There's a lot of free themes out there once you've purchased and you have access to the framework. But it's always the framework is installed first and then a child theme can be installed on top of that. All modifications to your site are done on a, on a child theme so that the framework and the structure of your site is always up to date and current and secure using the Genesis framework. So in order to do that, what we need in order to install Genesis, what we need to do first is go to the forums you'll have to be logged in to the forums and then you can go here and you can download the child themes so click on Genesis child theme download the first thing you will need to do is download the Genesis framework so click Genesis framework and click the download Genesis framework link now that will download to your computer if you're on a Mac it's going to download it to your downloads folder uh, or a directory that you've chosen depending on your browser if you're on a Windows machine, it's going to install it and save it to the directory that you've chosen. So once that's downloaded, we now can go back to our child themes and we can select a theme that we would like to install on our site. One of the uh, new ones that Brian uh, in the Studio Press team has developed looks kind of interesting to me is the 1140. So we'll just download the 1140 theme. So we click there download 1140 child theme it's going to download that to the same directory both of those files are going to be .zip files and that will help you when you get ready to install uh, onto your website so now what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to your website I have here a, uh, a site that's already got a WordPress installed so this is assuming you know how to install WordPress we're just going to talk about the installation of Studio Press so here's my website. This is my basic install for WordPress. I'm logged in as the admin. And so I'm going to go to the dashboard. I'm going to go to Appearance, Themes. And I'm going to click Install Themes. Here it's going to give me an option. I can search for a theme um, that's in the WordPress directory. Uh, I can search by features. I can search by newest or recently updated. But since we've downloaded Studio Press themes, we're going to upload. So we're going to click the Upload button. We're going to choose File, which means we are then going to navigate to the location where we downloaded. We're going to look for the Genesis file. This is the Genesis 1.8.0. We're looking for the .zip. So we're going to click on that. So that's highlighted. I'm going to open it. So now I've chosen that file. We hit install. It has uploaded. It has given us the option to preview, activate. We're going to activate the Genesis theme. So now Genesis is activated on this site. And now if we visit the site, we'll see Genesis is installed. Very bland, uh, bland and vanilla. But what we want to do is we want to install the 1140 theme. So we're going to come now, we're going to do install themes, we're going to upload, and now we're going to search in the downloads directory or the directory in which you've downloaded the file for 1140, which is right here, 1140, 11400.zip. We're going to select that file, we're going to install. Once this installs, we have now added, we're going to activate this. Now what we've done is we have added the child theme 
to the Genesis framework. So now if we go back to our site that we've got here, we refresh that. We now have the 1140 theme active on our site, ready for us to add content and build information. So thank you for checking out this tutorial. Uh, stay with us as we continue to add more. If you have any questions, please feel free to add them in the comment section below. And uh, we will try to help and uh, answer those any way we can. So hope you enjoyed.